Hello friends, Tony here. In this video I'm going to work with partials. We are going to work with partials in antlers in the uh, Statamic template engine. So for example, if we have a navbar here, uh, a content in here and also a footer, and we need to separate, for example, the footer and the navbar, how we can do that? Because we have worked with blade and with blade we can use uh, sections or we can use slots, but here we are going to use uh, partials. So let's open the VS Code, and I'm going to open the layout. Here we just render this template content, and then we have the home default uh, and main handlers. But let's remove the div in here. I'm going to remove this div, I'm going to save. I have run here the npm run dev, and let's come here, yeah. We have something like this now. Let's add a uh, navbar. So I'm going to come here or let's add the footer first because I have the footer here. I have opened this flowby.com and just copy some components from here. And in the in our project, inside the views directory, I'm going to create a new director here. And I'm going to name it partials. Now antlers is going to look inside for partials inside this directory. And here I'm going to create a new file, I'm going to name it footer.antlers.html. Okay? And here I'm going to paste that code, I'm going to save, I'm going to close, or let's duplicate this as a navbar. Okay? And now let's go and copy the navbar from here. So I'm going to choose a navbar right here. I'm going to copy this one and just select all, paste it here. So here we have the navbar now inside the partials and also the footer. And how we can use them inside the layout, how we can inject here by just adding double curly braces, the name of the tag, which in this case is for partial is partial, colon, and then the argument, which is the name of the file. So here we have footer and navbar. Here now I'm going to add the uh, navbar. Okay, so let's say just navbar. I'm going to save and just let's see what we have. Let's go back to our project, and as you can see, we have the navbar right here. Uh, let me just Cut this and add this in in a main tag. I'm going to add some classes. So class max with this going to be six XL MX auto I'm going to say flex and justify. center and I'm going to put the template content and then I'm going to add I'm going to inject the footer so and how we can do that the same thing we have done with the navbar so just saying partial tag and then the argument which is a name of the file in this case footer I'm going to save come here and here we have the footer let me just go to this one and I'm going to add also one more class, so mean it's screen, I'm going to save and come here. Yeah, now we have the navbar, the content, and then we have the down there, the folder. And I think we are okay. And in this lesson, we learn how we can use partials and separate the components in this partials directory and use them in uh, layout. Also, if I go to home and instead of this anchor tag, let me just render, for example, the navbar again, we can say partial and I'm going to say navbar, come here. And as you can see, we have also the navbar right here. 
but instead of the nav bar, let's just go here and I'm going to copy this and create a new in the nav bar. I'm going to save this as a Jabon drone. So let's say save, select all and paste that Jabotron code. And then, then in home, instead of navbar, we use the partial tag and the argument, which is the nav, uh, the name of the file. In this case, it's going to be Jabotron. So let's say Jabotron like this. I'm going to save and come here and see what we have. And yeah, we have something like this. Let's go back and let's go to layouts because here I added flex. So let's remove this flex here. And now we have this Jambotron like this. Okay. I think it's more okay. Let's just, we can uh, say here also margin top of uh, six. And now it's looking more okay. Okay, friends, so that's it all about this video. What I wanted to show you, how we can use uh, partials in our antlers template engine. Now, if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.